I believe that there are two reasons for the attack on the gay nightclub in Orlando. One, of course, is what you would call the moral question. According to the texts, the Bible of the Jews and the Christians, and the Quran and Hadith of Islam, uh, all three religions agree that homosexuality is forbidden, and it is even a uh, capital offense. So this is one way that the Islamic agenda in America can show the world that it is true to God's word. Again, this is confirmed in the Judeo-Christian Bible as well. Um, the second reason is why Orlando? Because there are many, many gay clubs all over the country. Orlando is Disney World. Orlando has many, many sites uh, that are important to tourism. Uh, uh, Orlando is the flag of tourism to America. And if you attack Orlando, you are attacking the underbelly, the weak underbelly of the United States of America. I believe ISIS uh, re is one of the representatives of what I call the revolutionary Islam. Revolutionary Islam believes that there can be no compromise with America as the great Christian Satan. Uh, the leadership in Washington over the last few decades has been very constant in supporting Islam and never condemning Islam because the leadership in Washington works with what I call the evolutionary Islam, the peaceful so-called Islam, which is based on money. Uh, ISIS uh, uh, disagrees with this, and ISIS is working at cross-purposes with the evolutionary Islamic agenda. Uh, ISIS uh, is uh, very firm in its belief that America is the great Christian Satan. Uh, it cannot be changed. It is corrupt. It must be destroyed. And even the uh, so-called evolutionary Muslims, the Saudis, the Turks, the Egyptians, in the eyes of ISIS, these people are collaborators and traitors who must be destroyed as uh, well with the Christians of America. Uh, this is absolutely more of the same. Uh, we see this with the attack uh, in New York City in February of uh, 1993, the first uh, attack on the World Trade Center. We see this in Oklahoma City. I talk about this in my books about the Islamic uh, Saddam Hussein state terrorism attack, uh, where, of course, Christians were blamed for an Islamic attack. Uh, again, it was the Clintons who made the cover up. Uh, the shooting down of TWA 800 over the south shore of Long Island, 9 11, and there are many, many other attacks that we could talk about. It would take an hour to review all the Islamic attacks on American soil. Uh, so this is not uh, anything uh, new, and it's going to continue and get worse. President Obama, and I've said this uh, on many, many YouTubes and uh, in my most recent book, Islamic Rivalry, Obama, I believe, is a Muslim. I believe he is a representative of what I just mentioned, the evolutionary Islam, which is to incrementally take America over uh, through economic means, uh, through oil, and through uh, ec uh, the demographic invasion of America by Muslims. Same with Europe. So when these revolutionary Muslims come, they overturn the apple cart, and this annoys, us, uh, annoys President Obama. Uh, from the ISIS standpoint, it makes no difference whether uh, you have a Democrat or Republican, uh, Hillary or Donald Trump. Uh, I personally do believe, though, that if Trump wins, he will take a much firmer stand against the Islamic attacks on America. Well, uh, America's ambassador to the United Nations, Samantha Powers, uh, seems to be an extremely brilliant woman. Uh, she seems to be a friend of Israel. But she wrote a position paper 20 years ago saying that the U.S. the only solution to the Palestinian problem was that the U.S. military, 1967, which, by the way, runs contrary to U.N. resolutions 242 and 338, that Israel needed new borders which were secure, recognized, and defensible. That's what the negotiations with the Palestinians are supposed to be about. But the Palestinians do not want any kind of compromise at all, which means the Palestinians are against U.N resolutions 242 and 338 which the United States signed as well uh, so this is a very direct threat